Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and in this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the RX Final Mix plugin and show you some of the new features that have been added in version 1.0.1 released today. Now, when Alan reviewed Final Mix for Pro Tools Expert, there was a lively debate in the comments section about some of the features, and the team at Isotope took these very seriously and listened very carefully to the comments. And I can announce that largely as a result of the feedback from the Pro Tools Expert community, they've made a number of changes to RX Final Mix. Now, what is RX Final Mix? Final Mix is an EQ and limiter combined into one plugin with an EQ section, which includes dynamic EQ with compression and expansion. And then we've got a limiter module, which is a true peak limiter uh, and we can set that so that we can make sure that our mixes comply with the maximum true peak built into the loudness delivery specs for broadcasting. What I've got here is an instance of final mix across each of my various stem tracks. So I've got one on my dialogue stem, one on my effects stem, one on the music stem, and one on my voiceover stem. And then I've got a final instance on my record track feeds so that I can make sure that the limiting is appropriate for R128. So the presets are really useful places to start. So you can see on my voiceover track here that I've used the female dialogue preset, but I have tweaked it to suit this particular voiceover artist. Again, on the other tracks, I've got a variety of different presets. So on the sync sound, I've got this control boxiness preset that you can find in the dialog folder. And again, I've just tweaked it to suit this particular project. Final Mix is starting to find a home in some of my templates and workflows, but back to those features added in version 1.0.1 as a result of the Pro Tools Expert community feedback. Now the first feature is the addition of a true bypass option. You notice here that I haven't got the limiter module engaged in my stem mix here for the effect stem. And you can see that the delay is 5,667 samples. And even when I turn the limiter on, the delay doesn't change. Now if I go into the options and I enable this new feature, enable true bypass, click OK. Now notice that as I enable and disable the limiter, the amount of delay introduced by the plugin changes. So in the limiter module, there's also a low latency mode. So once I enable the limiter module, you can see that the delay has gone back up. You can see as I engage the low latency option that the amount of delay reduces put it back to transparency and up goes the amount of delay introduced by the plugin. Now another element of the feedback from the community was the amount of processing power that Final Mix used. What they've done in this latest update is to be able to get around a 60% reduction in the band shelf section. This particular section here was proving to be quite processor hungry and they've been able to reduce this now very effectively. They've also managed to improve the efficiencies in both the static EQ modes and the dynamic EQ modes, so that the whole plugin is nowhere near as processor hungry. And so that means, of course, we can have more instances. If we take a look at my system usage for this session, you can see here that we've got around 33 odd percent CPU usage spread across a variety of the cores. And that's because I've got six instances of RX Final Mix. Now let's see what happens when I make these instances inactive. So you can see now that we're, we're down to around 18%. So let's just put those back in again. And back it up comes to around 33 odd percent. So even removing the six instances of RX Final Mix, there's been a relatively small reduction in the amount of CPU usage. So clearly the enhancements they've been able to introduce have been effective. 
couple of other things that uh, Isotope have been able to do in this latest release is now for audio units users, RX Final Mix will support 5.1 configurations, and they've also been able to enable stereo support for the EDIUS edit platform. It's great to see that Isotope have not only engaged in the discussions on Pro Tools Expert, but taken on board the comments from the community and done something about it. Top Mark's Isotope, and I'll see you again soon.